upon a time, there lived a little girl whose name was Goldilocks. One day, she decided to go for a walk in the forest. While out walking, she lost her way and found herself at the house of the three bears. Inside the house, she came across a kitchen table with three bowls of porridge laid out. She tasted the porridge in the first bowl and found it was too hot. So she tried the porridge from the second bowl, which was too cold. Finally, she tried the third bowl and found that it was just right. So she ate it all up. When she had finished the porridge, Goldilocks felt tired and went to find somewhere to sit down. The first chair she found was too big. The second chair was still too big. But the third chair felt just right. As she sat down, the chair broke into many pieces. By now, Goldilocks was very tired, so she looked for somewhere to sleep. The first bed she found was too hard. The second was too soft. But the third bed was perfect, and she fell into a deep sleep. Just then, the bears came back to their house from walking in the forest. When they came into the kitchen, they saw that someone had been eating their porridge. Who's been eating my porridge? growled Daddy Bear. Who's been eating my porridge? asked Mummy Bear. Finally, Baby Bear cried, Who's been eating my porridge and eaten it all up? Then the three bears spotted that someone had been sitting in their chairs. Who's been sitting in my chair? howled Daddy Bear. Who's been sitting in my chair? wondered Mummy Bear. Baby Bear cried, Who's been sitting in my chair and broken it up into pieces? The three bears ran up the stairs to check their bedrooms and saw that someone had been sleeping in their beds. Who's been sleeping in my bed? roared Daddy Bear. And who's been sleeping in my bed? growled Mummy Bear. Finally, Baby Bear cried, Someone has been sleeping in my bed, and they are still in it! Goldilocks was woken up by their shouting and was so scared she jumped out of the bed and ran out of the open window back into the forest. She ran home to her mother and vowed she would never again go for a walk in the forest alone.